So what's up with this error? Now, the good thing is this error actually tells us the solution, though, of course, we don't really understand why we need that solution. Well, keep in mind that currently Next.js is pre-generating all the pages, and I mentioned that it would pre-generate pages by default. It turns out this is not the case if you have a dynamic page. So where the name of the component has such square brackets, if you have a dynamic segment leading to that page. If you have that, the default behavior is not to pre-generate the page. And why is that not the default? Because keep in mind that technically for this page, we won't just have one page, but multiple pages. For different IDs, we have technically different pages, which have kind of the same frame and the same general HTML content, but different data. This page can be loaded for slash p1, slash p2, slash p1000. So Next.js doesn't know in advance how many pages it needs to pre-generate for this dynamic page. It doesn't know which values for PID will eventually be supported. And because it doesn't know that, dynamic pages like this are not pre-generated by default, instead they are always generated just in time on the server, which is why it worked before. But it's now not working anymore because we added get static props. And as I mentioned, when you add this function to a page, component file, then you tell Next.js that you want to pre-render this page in advance. For Index.js, that didn't make a difference. There it was the default anyways. But for this dynamic page, it does make a difference because there it was not the default. For the reasons mentioned, Next.js has no chance of knowing how many pages you need and which concrete values of this dynamic segment you need. That's why for such dynamic routes, we need to give Next.js more information. We can also tell Next.js which paths, so which instances of a dynamic page should be pre-generated. Because here we don't just need data, we also need to let Next.js know which ID values, which dynamic segment values will be available and for which values a page should be pre-generated. So that multiple instances of that page blueprint can be pre-generated by Next.js. And we do inform Next.js about this with another function we can add on the page. So another function we can add in this page file. And that's the get static paths function, which also is async. So where you can also use the await keyword and just as get static props, that's a function which you can add to your page component files and only there, so not in any other component files. And you need to export it to make Next.js aware of it. And now let's explore how this function works and how we use it.